Okay, I am freaking out. Alright, so, if you guys haven't heard about the Mandela Effect, go look it up. I mean, pretty much it's just like this alternate reality. And if you're a hater, go away, because obviously this is a video for people who totally are experiencing shit. And we already know, yeah, 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 we are thinking about different things, we're confused, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? So, <clears throat> we've heard it before. On to it. <laughs> okay. So, for a while, I know I've been hearing about the Mandela Effect, and, you know, I kind of stopped caring because it was just, like, you know, brands and shit, and I'm like, you know, this isn't, I mean, it's a big deal, obviously things are changing, but I don't have to worry about anything. Now, though, um, now that some things in actual history, though, have changed, I'm, I'm tripping and I actually need to, like, talk about this. Not just history, but like anatomy, or I don't know what the fuck's going on. Okay, not really anatomy. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this. Um, has anyone been experiencing ringing in their ears? Uh, to uh, if especially well, it's like if you're a believer, I've heard. I've talked to a couple people. They apparently have been. They said their left ear. I think my left ear too. I want to get other people's um, opinions. If if it's their left ears too, or if it's both their ears, or what's going on. But people that have been talking about it have been saying how it straight up sounds like, um, mechanical. It's not sound real. It doesn't sound like natural. I describe it like a broken radio. Exactly like how a broken car radio sounds. You can still technically hear the voices singing, but it sounds kind of tiny and, and staticky and broken. It sounds mechanical in your ear. And it's weird. It's, sometimes it gets, I, you know, I haven't really noticed it, but some people say that it actually gets kind of louder. And, um, and some people have also stated, which I agree with, that it goes away for a bit. Like, um, it goes away for a couple months and they'll come back. That's how it happened with me. Okay. So there's that. So please let me know if you have been experiencing ringing and if so, which ears. Um, then now there's this, um, the JFK shooting. History has been rewritten. Seriously, if you look at the video, I kid you not, it looks like Jackie Kennedy shot JFK. Okay? I know this sounds nuts, but I'll, I was obsessed with the video, and I watched it a bunch of times because I'm morbid as shit. Okay? I'm really morbid. And this was, like, my first um, death video, like, I've seen of someone, like, dying, and I was incredibly intrigued because this is, like, I love this shit. I want to be in criminology, so... Seeing someone die for the first time, I'm going to remember this. And I'm going to tell you how I remembered it. So, what I remember is that he got shot, okay? He got shot, and then... And then he slumps over. And then Jackie grabs him. And pulls him down to her. Like, like yeah, pulls him down towards her. And then she scrambles across the hood, okay? That's what I remember. Now, though... The video shows her pulling him down towards her, as in, I described this in the previous video, it pulls her down towards her like as if she is telling him a secret or something almost, but he looks drugged up, okay? And my roommate think, says this because he got shot a couple times and that he's shot, but honestly, I, I mean, that's, if she's the one that shot him, I, I don't think that he was pre-shot, he looked drugged to me, I don't know, whatever. So he looked drugged, and then she kind of jerks him, like, she pulls him down a little bit, like she's telling him a secret, but then she jerks him down, and then you see the gun blast, and then fucking his head explodes. This is where I'm going to get, though. Okay, so this is pure logistics. I'm not professional, obviously, but so his back top side of his head is what blew off if you look at the videos the clear ones you can straight up see his scalp actually like peeled off and over and just kind of like hanging off right here and um and you can tell it's it, the exit wound is right here and if if you are just a complete layman know nothing about this so when you shoot something it's going to go in that direction and obviously nothing can really change that Unless, um, my, unless you, okay, so they say that bones and whatnot can do change the trajectory a little bit, but it's going to be so minimal. It's still going to be in the 
pretty much same direction. Like, it's not gonna like fucking pinball around in you. That that's just no. Your your skeletal system is not a fucking metal cage that's gonna keep a bullet inside bouncing around. Okay, that's just not gonna happen. So if you pretend your fingers are a gun and you point it in the direction that you point it at, it's gonna go in that direction. So say I go like that at a curve. The bullet is going to go that way. If I go like this, the bullet is going to go this way. So now let's go like this. If I straight back, it's going to go hit, go out this way, okay? Straight up, it's going to go out this way. Not this way. It's going to go out this way, alright? Now, they state that Lee Harvey Oswald was like on a top building, I think on like the sixth floor. And yeah, so whatever. Doesn't matter where he's at, he's on the sixth floor. It's going to be pointed downward. All right, there's just absolutely no way. How the fuck can they say that if it's coming out right this way, that, like, his gun, like, did the gun go like this and, like, go up? Like, did it, like, literally, like, if the gun's, like, over here to go, whoosh, like, that just absolutely makes no sense. Um, <clears throat> so there's that, and then you can see when she... Okay, so it's a little blocking. You can't see her hands because in um, the video, it's, like, there's a little sign right where the hands are going. I don't know. But what you can see from her shoulders and from her hand movements, it looks like she is, like, reaching over, like, positioning her, reaching her arm up, and then shoving it into his mouth, pulling him down, and shooting it. I mean, that, that, you can see, like, when a shoulder moves, you can see the direction of a shoulder. That's, you can see the shoulder moving in like that. And you can see the puff of smoke and the flash of light flying up up and again it's just logistics and just pure just science that there's just it's just look at the video i'm not saying look at the conspiracy video look at just the zebruder film i think that's how it's pronounced i'm sorry if i pronounced that wrong but there's a there, the film whatever there's a special film for it and they people have edited it like to make it clearer and slower and stuff and if you're a skeptic don't look at anything edited just look at the pure just whatever film, it still looks completely different from what anyone remembers. And elaborating on this, so straight up, like, everyone remembers. And my roommate was alive in the assassination, okay? He was alive during this. And he remembers four people in the, uh, in the car, and then there's two people behind on the running board. And now, apparently, there's six people in the fucking car. Um... Yeah, and um, if we remember it wrong, why the fuck there's um, if you research it, um, I wish I could show you guys, but my computer is broken. If you research it, there is this museum that is <laughs> for JFK, and they have a model of the car, which is a two seater. And if you, I found some pictures of the um of the car with blood stains and it was a two seater so i um, i don't know what's going on okay and in some of the interviews uh, with the people they don't really mention the drivers of i don't know they mention you know like i'm being like the i'm talking about colleen uh the Connolly um for our first name and the guy they just talk about how they were in the car i don't know they just don't mention like other people in the car it's very weird so there's that Okay, there's the car that's trippy as shit. And then, so that's the way they with the JFK, which I'm, which I'm tripping on. And now, Hitler, okay? Everyone knows Hitler was burnt out, okay? He was a fucking hypocrite. I was obsessed with the Holocaust. Okay, how many times do I have to elaborate that? I was obsessed with morbid shit. And as a kid, when you're being taught history, if you're morbid, what the hell are you gonna, like, you know, concentrate on the most? Um, The Holocaust? Hello, one of the craziest things in history. Okay. I remember, like, thinking, this piece of shit is such a fucking hypocrite. Like, how dare he, like, um, say that blue eyes is better and all this shit when he himself has brown eyes? Is he calling himself inadequate? And I was like, that's probably why he's so desperate and they're doing all this testing on kids and twins to turn their eyes blue. They were doing testing, injecting their eyes, trying to turn them blue so they could be blue. And I'm like, dude, why would he be so desperate? And people may argue back and say, well, he had blue eyes. They wanted them to be like him. Um, I don't know. Dude, all I know is that we were taught that he was a hypocrite for wanting people to um, 
have blue eyes and be better when he himself had dark brown eyes. Um, <laughs> that's what we were taught, okay? So apparently now he has blue eyes. And not just any blue eyes, okay? Beautiful fucking blue eyes. And I am, like, I have fascination with eyes, okay? Like, it's a little bit creepy. I will, like, if I meet you and you have beautiful eyes, that's, like, the first thing I will come out with. Like, out of my mouth, I'll be like, hi, I'm Samantha, and you have beautiful eyes. I will say that, okay? And I don't care. Um, so I don't ever remember looking at his eyes and being like, oh, my God, he's got beautiful eyes. And they are this gorgeous blue, this deep, ocean blue beautiful super rare i can't even think of anyone really like a famous person who has them really um he's they're very unique okay and you might come back and say well you've only seen black and white shit of him like you know like rare color photos are rare blah blah, blah. okay that may be true but there are paintings of him and there are photo images because i was obsessed with him at one point so i would look at the shit and of all paintings and stuff, like, if you look at the paintings now, straight up, your eyes go to him. His eyes. That's what your eyes are directed to because it's so beautiful. And they're bright fucking blue. And, like, God's sake, I don't remember anyone ever, like, commenting on it. I don't ever remember this shit. This is nuts. This is weird. This is crazy. Okay. And I have to go again on this. So, I found this thing where people were like back in history this is not people nowadays like, people in history quoted quoting his eyes okay they for example they would be like um i thought he was a very um uh unassuming man until i saw his eyes i saw his no beautiful bright beautiful pale blue eyes they kept saying pale blue but from what i saw his eyes looked more like like a deep dark uh not dark blue like a deep kind of like oceany like um fuck i Almost like the Pepsi bottle, but a little bit lighter. Like that kind of blue. So anyways, so they kept saying pale blue, but yeah, they would say like, I thought he was an unassuming man until I saw his beautiful blue eyes. And then they would say like, I saw his pale blue eyes gazing across the crowd or, <clears throat> or he, um, they, okay. So you know how a lot of dictators are kind of known for their thing. Like, um, I always remember hearing that his, uh, his speeches and the way he spoke was like super hypnotic and that he could like straight up like convince anyone to do anything just the way he like spoke because he was just like just knew how to like form words and stuff and um excuse me <laughs> oh my god excuse me sorry oh, bad nose okay so um so that's how I heard that his voice or his words were his thing okay now apparently it's his eyes they are quoted saying like you know he wouldn't have done history like he couldn't really have um been as powerful if he wasn't able to give the look he would give apparently he had this bulging like look per bulging very like um uh what's it called like he would give this look of uh like he'd be like like he would look at you like mm. And, um, and, and that was his look. So that's what people are saying now, that he wouldn't be able to really, like, hypnotize people and really catch their attention without the help of his eyes, which, again, I have never in my life ever heard of a reference to his eyes being his power or the reason why he's able to do shit. I, I don't, like, I just, I don't. I've never heard, like, I've heard of Thor's hammer. I mean, every hero has their fucking little thing, Okay. Like, I've never heard of Hitler and his beautiful eyes, or his crazy eyes. I've never. Like, again, I'm obsessed with history. Here's like a, right there, picture of Marilyn, okay? I love old stuff. Oops. I love old stuff, okay? And, um, no, I never heard of anything with, um, Hitler having crazy blue eyes. There's that, and, um... That's it. Um, I just want to say that something's going on to the point now where it's like not just brands and stupid little words and stuff being changed. Now it's getting to the point where it's like it's history being changed. So, man, I mean, how can we seriously sit here and like be okay with this? What the hell is going on? I want to know what your guys' theory. I've, um, 
I've been trying to find out reasons why Stern would do this, and so far I've just come up that it's just been an accident, that they were just bored, and they felt like their scientists had so much to do, and they are bored of shit, they are too smart, so they decided to just play around and be God. Oh, poor scientists. They're too good. They need to do shit. Like, whatever. So, I want to hear your theories um, on what's going on. And also, I've also heard, you know, I've been hearing the stories where people are saying, like, they will, like, their day-to-day is actually different. Like, they'll wake up and it's, like, different. Like, I don't know. I want to, I've never had heard any actual, uh, um, you know, descriptions. I've only heard, like, you know little things, snippets of people in comments just uh, mentioning it. So if you have an actual story, please mention it in the comments below. I want to hear. And thank you for listening, everybody. And have a good night, day or night. Mwah.